Tattoo 101 coming up now. My name is Wesley. I've been tattooing since 2006. Um, I work at Skin Kitchen Tattoo in Des Moines, Iowa, and I'm kind of just a all-around tattoo artist of multiple different styles. Welcome back, guys. For those of you just joining us, um, this is our Tattoo 101 series. Um, we do have a variety of couple of different series going on for pros and cons and 101s and questions and answers, Q&A in the kitchen that we do um, answering some questions about tattoos. So today I'm going to do one that's been um, definitely requested a lot is just some tips and tricks on starting a tattoo sleeve. Um, a lot of people have questions about that, don't know exactly where to start. Um, so one of the things I like to say is, is start off by thinking about um, dividing your tattoo into two different types of categories for your sleeve. Um, and what that is is kind of your hodgepodge sleeves or your theme sleeves. So you decide kind of where you want to go on these. And um, we've kind of covered in some of the previous episodes on different styles of tattoos um, and kind of the routes you go with some of the uh, things you can do with those and why certain artists will lean one direction versus another direction. Um, but today I'm going to stay away from some of that and just kind of focus on these two different categories of theme tattoos versus kind of the hodgepodge sort of um, uh, different, you know, just a mashup of different tattoos together. Um, so we'll start with hodgepodge, really. Um, the hodgepodge kind of sleeves are not your themed ones. And I get a lot of, it's something definitely more kind of with the younger crowd. It's a good place to start. Um, oftentimes it's not always true, but oftentimes you get a, young guys coming in, they want to start their sleeve right off the bat. They're 19, 20 years old and they want to drive into the sleeve and don't realize that they might spend $3,000 for a full sleeve to be a good one. And that's not something easily done when you're working your first job right out of high school. Um, but we get it. We want, we know that you want to start it and they'll tell them, come in and talk about all the ideas they want to do. And I have kind of the hodgepodge style sleeve too. So there's nothing wrong with it, but what it is, just it's a mashup of different pieces that have nothing to do with each other, other than that you like them. Um, a lot of people have sleeves like this. It's a good way to start. Um, it's not something you have to do right away all at once. Um, you can do just piece by piece. It can take 10 years to build up to that full sleeve. You just find ways to fit the next piece that you like. Oh yeah, I think I like that piece. So I'm gonna stick it kind of right in there, fits next to everything else. And you just kind of slap them together as they build up over the time. Those same pieces are pieces you can spread across your body. So sometimes people will come in and want to do a sleeve and they have 10 or 15 ideas that have nothing to do with each idea. Now, plenty of tattoo artists will say, yep, okay, I'll take all those ideas and I'll put them together. And it doesn't matter if it looks classy or not. Um, and that's okay but it's maybe a pitfall that you might want to watch out for if you're looking for something that is long-term, something classy, and you're not going to worry about cover-ups in the future. So you either spread some of these pieces out. Sometimes what I'll say is putting 10 gallons worth of shit in a five gallon bucket. And you don't want to really do want to do that. You want to kind of, kind of, like I said, spread it out a little bit, pressure it across your body. Um, and you don't have to like to jam everything together. But if you do, it's not that big of a deal to, like I said, spread it out over time. Um, the other side of sleeves is your themed sleeves. These are going to be your Lord of the Rings or your Star Wars or cotton candy, what, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, one particular item, it could be a Japanese themed koi fish and samurais and flowers. Uh, it could be a, just a flower themed sleeves or dragons, you know, whatever it is you're thinking. It's one thing that's thought of from start to finish and from wrist to shoulder or wrist to elbow, however big you're going. It's one solid theme, um, one piece that goes together. Um, these are a little bit more complex. You do have to have an artist who you sit down with and you chat with them and you say, this is kind of what I want to think about. I want to do a sleeve from wrist to elbow and I want it to be all Super Mario Brothers or what, what have you. And that doesn't necessarily need to mean to say that the artist needs to have everything drawn up ahead of time before your first appointment. The first layer, maybe so. 
Um, these can be done in a multiple different ways that that an artist might go about done, doing them. Sometimes they might be drawn up all ahead of time. Sometimes it might be piece by piece layered on. Some artists will completely draw it up all by freehand and just lay it on you with Sharpies. So there's a couple of different ways to go about it. That just depends on the style, the artist that you're working with, um, the methods that they go about tattooing and creating their artwork. So you can't always rush some of those ones too, um, but it is something you do wanna be diligent about um, coming back regularly. It's something that's not necessarily saying is not that you, as a younger person you can't get them, but it's a little bit easier once you've gotten through life and you've got your life a little bit more stable, financially speaking, that you can come in because you don't want an artist, you don't want to sit down to have a full sleeve that you're starting working with them and only be able to work on it once every six months to eight months or so, or once every year. You're coming back in to put four hours worth of work into it. The trouble with that is you're gonna find your artist's, his styles change, his or her styles change, that it's grown a lot more, they might not be tinkering with that, so they'll be fine to go back and finish it up, but it's just, you know, it's a reset backwards for their brain a little bit sometimes. So it's just one of the minor risks you might have with something like that. So um, it's good to be in a place where you know that you can devote, you know, every two weeks, every month, you're back in that chair and you're getting a little bit more work done. Um, and that will help in the long run getting a lot done. So yeah, um, it's it's like again, it's not saying that somebody who is you know kind of on the younger end of getting the tattoos that they can't get something like that, but um, it's something that's just a little bit tougher because there's so much more available for them as a young person in the world for them to start experiencing that devoting quite the same amount of time and money tends to be a little bit more challenging. But um, either way, both both paths are are fun to go down. Like I said, either one is totally acceptable. I've got kind of the hodgepodge pushed together pieces and I hope to one day save this one for a theme style piece myself. Um, everybody's of their own opinion. It's just, that would be a good way to start thinking about what you want to do with your sleeve. Um, Google and Pinterest are great places to start with coming up with ideas of what styles you like. And um, it's, it's all right to start putting some of those folders together and then showing it off to your, the artist that you sit down with and say, hey, is this a sleeve that I want to do a themed piece for or is it just broken up pieces? If I'm just gonna do a piece here and there, they don't always have to be by the same artist. They don't have to match. They just have to be pushed up close enough to each other that eventually you're just finding little pieces to fill in a little space between and then you sit down with the last artist who fills in the space with your filler. And again, that could take 10 years or so and there's no rush on pieces like that. The only pieces you wanna think about being on a timely manner is gonna be more of those theme pieces where you stick with the same artist and have them picking up where they left off and trying to complete it in the same style that they've started with. So um, I hope this was a little bit more helpful for some of you guys who are starting to think about sleeves. Again, just breaking it into two different categories really helps out for getting your own mindset to go where you want it to go for what style of tattoo sleeve we should be doing. Um, like I said, again, if it's just small pieces, don't rush it too quickly or spread them out. That's totally okay, um, but they can be pushed together. And the theme pieces are very classy, but you got to be in a point in life where you know you can be on it pretty regularly. Check out some of our other videos. Um, check out some styles online and then swing into your artist. Check out our shop here. Swing into us and let us chat with you about some of these tattoos and some of these sleeve ideas. Um, again, like I said, we have a bunch of other videos. So if you like this one, please like and subscribe to our video. Um, if you find it helpful, check out some of the other videos on styles and things like that. And check out our merch page and our website. And I hope you guys have a great day.